Hello, precious standards. It is Lakidra again, and I wanted to come on and remind you, people of God, those of you that are in this fight for your families and for your marriage, I want to remind you, as Paul tells us in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, Paul tells us in verses 10 through 12, he says, Be strong in the Lord. And in his mighty power. Meaning pray in your most holy faith. Pray in the spirit. Build yourself up in strength. And also begin to renew your mind on what God says. He says put on all of God's armor. So that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. You know I don't know exactly what you are going through people of God. But I do know that the armor of God is given because you are in a war. It is given so that you will stand your ground firm. Whatever types of influence he has your loved one up on that you are seeing these things. Just know this here as Paul tells us in verse 12. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Paul says, therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. And we know what that means. That means taking the word of God, not letting it depart out of your mouth, rising up, taking your authority, telling the devil where to go. This is a war you are in, people of God. And so, you know, reaching out to people to pray for us. And it is a wonderful thing when you are needing others to be in agreement with you. But you are going to have to fight. You are going to have to take your authorities because you are dealing with powers in the unseen world. The enemy is who is fighting against you. And so the Lord says, you have to tell the mountain where to go. And that's what the enemy is like. He is like a strong force. A mountain that is standing in the way, keeping you from going forth. Keeping you away from what God has for you. Keeping you out of the land God has given you. And so the Lord is saying, speak the word of God. You tell the mountain where to go. You tell that principality where to go. For I have given you power over all the power of the devil. Meaning over every principality, every wicked spirit, every evil ruler, all authorities, every evil spirit. In the unseen realm, you don't see them with your natural eyes, but they are as real as this world you are seeing. But Jesus used the word of God. He spoke what was written and told the devil to get behind him, made the devil flee. He took his authority, standing strong in the power of the Almighty, where he was tempted by the enemy. For 40 days and 40 nights. And the Holy Spirit was with him. Helping him to stand firm. Against every strategy of the enemy. Using the sword of the spirit. Which was the word of God. And walking in righteousness. Having the whole armor of God on. Which is the power of God. And so precious standards. You be prayed up. You let the Holy Spirit renew your strength. You let the Holy Spirit cause you to walk by faith and not by sight and stand firm against your enemy while you are in this battle. Fight for your spouse. Fight for your families. Fight for your land. 
fight for what God has given you. The battle has already been won. And the Lord God wants you now to believe his word. That's what he has given us. And that is what he promised will cause you to overcome this world. As 1 John tells us in chapter 5, the Bible tells us, for every child, in verse 4, every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. And it says, and who can win this battle against this world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Those who see him as Lord over all. All it takes is faith, Jesus said. A mustard seed of faith is what will cause that problem to go. You may not see it happen overnight. The key is just believe it. The Bible tells us. It says that the word of God continues to work. In you that believe, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13 tells us, hallelujah. And so that's what it takes, faith to overcome every adversary and that mountain to move. But you have to speak to it. You have to tell it where to go. You have to exercise your faith and your authority. The Lord God commands it. You who reign in this earth as Christ. And you who are a royal priesthood, hallelujah, meaning you can stand in the gap for those that are lost. You can go to God on their behalf because you are that priest that is interceding for them. And you also have power and dominion as a king, a ruler, hallelujah. But it all works according to your faith. As the scripture says, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife. And they too are united into one flesh. And that settles it. As you stand on that truth, knowing that this is what your marriage is right now. The devil won't last. He won't be able to stay. He won't be able to steal that marriage. Because by you holding on to the word. You are holding on to what God has given you. That word is seed. And it will not return back void. But if you let it go. Then you won't see your harvest. So you hold on to that seed. For that is what's bringing forth your harvest. And the promises of God. To them that believe. Thank you Father God. Hallelujah. Father we give you the praise. We thank you Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this mighty move of your word and power and strength and grace. We bind the works of the devil and cast them out in Jesus' name. We rebuke your works, Satan. We bind you and command you to flee right now. We resist you. You are not having these marriages. We bind every unclean, foul spirit in Jesus' name and command it to go. Leave these marriages now. The blood of Jesus right now we apply over every wayward spouse. For the blood was shed for their freedom. We loose them now in Jesus name. And bind this wicked spirit that has taken them captive. And we command you right now to take your filthy hands off. In Jesus name. This mountain you be uprooted and throw yourself in the sea now. In the name of Jesus. We command the blinders to come off our loved ones in Jesus name. Our spouse in the name of Jesus. We command the powers of darkness to leave them in the name of Jesus. Leave their minds in Jesus' name. We call these things forth in Jesus' name. And we say it is done. Hallelujah. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. We all say amen. We give you the praise. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Remember, God loves you, precious standards. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And I love you too. You stand your ground. You have already won the victory. And until next time, bye-bye.